welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Eid makeup tutorial. Yay! Today's makeup look is going to be on the pinky gold look that a lot of you requested. I might have one more look up for you guys before Eid. So write in the comments below what you want to see for the last look. I'm literally sweating my ass off if you guys can't tell. I also used an earring. This is an earring. And I think it looks alright. And I kind of like just pinned it there. I kind of think it looks alright, you know. But if you have a better ticker, wear that one. <laughs> I also did use mostly high-end products. There were like a few drugstore products here and there. But most of it, I would say 80% is high-end. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you for stopping by to watch this video. And we'll jump straight into it. I'm starting off with some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand Primer Lids I would say and it also creates a nice canvas for my eyeshadow to go onto. I find that you get more coverage using a brush rather than using a beauty blender um, and yeah like, as you can see it just creates a nice clear canvas so that your eyeshadow will appear brighter and more true to colour. Then grabbing my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette I'm grabbing the shade that I pointed to and I'm just going to set the concealer in place. Then I wanted a bright pink colour to go in the crease for my transition colour so I grabbed the Bobbi Brown blusher in pale pink and I'm just buffing this into the crease and just bringing it upwards. The biggest tip I can give you with eyeshadow blending is the further you go towards the eyebrow the less pressure you use and it just creates a nice transition. Next I'm using the shade Love Letter in the Modern Renaissance palette and really concentrating this in the crease and really blending it outwards and creating a nice fade. Now I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42 with a really flat thin brush. The brushes that I used in this tutorial are from Amazon but they're linked in the info box and I will actually have a video on Amazon brushes very very soon, hopefully next week. But I'm just using this to just really carve out the crease and create a nice sharp line. And my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is actually one of my favourite concealers to do this with. Then grabbing my favourite colour out of the Modern Renaissance palette is called Primavera, it's the one I've used the most. Just grabbing that on a flat shader brush, 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 and I wet it with some Smashbox Primer Water and just really pack this wherever we put the concealer. I also got, went in with a really tiny brush just to add some more love letter from the Modern Renaissance palette and really defining the crease a bit more. So this is where I mostly do a bit of touch up so I went in with Love Letter and I thought that it was a bit light so if you compare it to the other eye there's more Love Letter on that side so it's a brighter pink so I went in with some more and packed it on and just compare it to just tried to make both eyes look the same because I had one eye done I was just trying to compare it to that. <laughs> um, then I'm using my collections Glam Crystals in Funk. It's like one of my favourite eyeliner glitters to use. I know this is drugstore but I just love this and I thought it was perfect for this tutorial but if you have a, like the Urban Decay ones they're really good then feel free to use any one you have at home really even if you want to use drugstore stuff you can use that um, then I'm using my Rimmel Glamour Eyes eyeliner which is my favourite eyeliner at the moment I'm seriously not joking guys it's so thin and precise I never really mess up with this liner and I'm just creating a nice dramatic wing by the way guys if you want to recreate this look then make sure to tag me on Instagram it's Anushka with two S's and two A's at the end and I also applied some Classy Lashes UK Lashes in Diva now onto face I'm using the MAC face and body foundation in C6 and just blending this away with my damp beauty blender this has alright coverage I would say medium coverage and it's actually quite hydrating and perfect for summer no joke, I still have the foundation on and it hasn't come off one bit and I don't have any smile lines. <laughs> now I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again, just highlighting under my eyes my, the no bridge of my nose and my forehead and use again my Beauty Blender, which is damp by the way. 
and I also like to use it to really sharpen the corner of the uh, eye like the eyeshadow so it's like nice and sharp so once I was done with blending all the concealer I grabbed my Kat Von D loose setting powder and did a bit of baking with that and I actually used my other beauty blender for baking which is kind of old but it's actually really useful for baking and I just kept that literally for like two seconds and brushed it all off Then for bronzer I'm using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep and I'm just going to add some colour to my skin and dimension and I'm using a bronzer brush from Sephora which is very old in my opinion but you can use any brush. My favourite at the moment is actually the MAC 135 brush, it's perfect for bronzing but I actually need to clean it because it's just got way too much product on it. <laughs> and when you bronze can you see how it really highlights under the eyes at the same time i don't know i just really like it oh and i also did go in with bobby brown pale pink again on the cheeks to add a bit of color and pink to it and then for highlighter i'm using the bobby brown highlighter in bronze glow i swear this is so underrated i don't see much beauty bloggers rave about this but it's so good for dark skin like darker complexions i definitely recommend it it's, it gives such a nice golden glow and it's not too dark and it's not too light, it's like the perfect shade. And I just highlighted the highest points of my face, like my cheekbones and bridge of my nose, my temples and my chin. I also grabbed pale pink again from Bobbi Brown and just applied that on my lower lashes. And I kind of really buffed that out and blended it and made it sure that it, I would say it came far enough. And then I went in closer to the lash line with Love Letter again. And I'll also use Cypress Umber from the Modern Renaissance palette to just really deepen and smoke out the lower lash line. And I just use the same brush as well. I then applied some mascara on my lower lashes. This is the Lash Sensational Mascara. Again, drugstore, but I just really love it. Now onto lips, I'm using MAC Lip Pencil in Well. Just line my lips with that. And then I grabbed MAC Lipstick in Bricola, which is quite a dark pink, I would say, but I just wanted to mix it with the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Flirt, and I felt like it gave the perfect pink for this look. I didn't want to go too pink on the lips because I thought it would be too much, but this is like a nice dusty pink with this concoction that I made. But yeah, you can you can try any lip, the, whichever you guys prefer, like just try a bunch of pink lipsticks and see which one goes with the look. And finally, I set my whole face with my Smashbox Primer Water, I cannot speak, I'm sorry guys. And that's the finished look, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video, bye!